hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're taking a look at the brand new Logitech Brio 505, part of the Logitech Brio 500 series. The 505 is our enterprise grade webcam versus the 500, which is the consumer grade webcam. Uh, same features, same capabilities in terms of AI video features, except the 505 can be managed with Logitech Sync centrally by IT admins in the enterprise. Now, before we get to the unboxing and device overview, and of course, demo of the video and AI capabilities of the Brio 505, a friendly little reminder that if you're not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button below and then turn on notifications so that you stay in the know about all the latest gear that I do overviews on. Also, if you like the video, please hit that like button below and then splash it all around all your social media accounts. Sharing is caring. And with that, let's get on to the content. Now, as we jump into the unboxing, a couple things we'll call out about the packaging itself. Right on the outside here, we get a little bit more information about certification. Zoom certified, Microsoft Teams certified, works with Google Meet. And of course, Logitech has a recent uh, commitment and effort towards sustainability, and their packaging does indeed reflect uh, the recycled materials efforts there, as does the equipment itself. I'm not going to go into all those details, but just know if you're looking for a sustainability friendly product, Logitech has definitely made that part of their path moving forward. And there's a little bit of tape that you need to cut at the bottom. We'll lift the lid, open it on up. And as has become pretty uh, common, both from a sustainability and ease of use, uh, we have the instructions for getting set up and started printed on the underside of the lid of the packaging. Pretty handy. Uh, we can see there, this is a, it's a webcam, right? So we're going to plug it into the laptop, it mounts to the top of the monitor, and, uh, and you're off to the races. But Logitech does give you the link to Logitune down there at the bottom, as well as a QR code to help you get started. And as I mentioned, this is the 505, so it can also be managed with Logitech Sync in the organization. And right at the very top, we see our webcam as well as the mount. Pulling this little tab up and lifting it out kind of props everything up out of the box. Turning that to the side, we can see that we've got our cable already attached. On the other end, we've got USB-C. Down here at the bottom, we've got, of course, our required documentation. And then carefully lifting the camera out, we can see that it's got its protective plastic wrapping on it. We'll pull up that flap, just kind of peel that wrapping off. Compared to the 4K Logitech Brio, this 1080p webcam has a different look and feel to it. We'll dig into its features and capabilities in just a moment. We can then lift this up, slide our mount out, and that is it for unpackaging the contents of the box. Like the camera, we've got a little bit of protective plastic wrap on here. We'll just peel that off. And, uh, and this attaches to the bottom of the Brio 505. Uh, just like any other monitor, it's got a hinge or monitor mount. It's got a hinge on the back. Uh, we can see right here how it should go against the back of a laptop. We peel off this purple uh, adhesive. And we've got a sticky background here, allowing us to make sure that the device uh, doesn't decide to slide around on the back of the monitor. It will stay put on the underside. We've got a rubbery grip. Uh, to help keep it in place on the top of the monitor uh, or display without sliding around there either. You've got the lip up front, of course, that will go right over the front edge of your display. This portion here will tilt and twist to make sure you get the optimal angle on whatever size display you're attaching this to. And then finally, this middle section actually moves as well because there is a mode called Show Mode, brand new to the Logitech Brio 505 and 500, that allows you to aim the camera down at documents on your desk, automatically flip and invert that image so that you can easily share content at your desktop. So as this is sitting on the display and the Brio is mounted in here, you can flip that up to point down at the documents. Attaching the Brio 505 to the mount is pretty simple. The underside of the Brio 505, this little circular area here, will sit right on the inside. It has a nice strong magnetic grip, kind of just snaps right into place. Uh, it allows you a little bit of flexibility in which way you want to aim it, but then you can kind of twist the 505 around, letting the uh, the centerpiece screw into place, holding it firmly in there. And then as you go to tilt this forward, it doesn't come out. That magnetism is really strong. 
This is how it will be when it's in show mode. Uh, it will be sitting there looking down, facing down at the document on your desk. And then of course you'll put it back in when you're ready to just have it be at the normal facing you position. To demonstrate the strength of that magnetism, I turn this thing upside down, I wiggle it around, I shake it around back and forth. It is not coming loose and that's just a magnet. It stays firmly in place, allowing you to easily uh, tilt it back and forth without any kind of detachment happening. Looking at the front of the device, we've got a privacy shutter built right in. And as you just twist the top, it will open that privacy shutter, revealing that ultra wide 90 degree field of view. We've also got LEDs right in the front that let us know when the device is in use or not. In addition to show mode, which lets us show those documents on our desktop, we've also got right sight built in, which if you're not familiar with Logitech's right sight, this will do auto framing and kind of a speaker tracking so that as someone moves around in the room, they are kept in focus. Now we will use LogiTune to manage the devices, but with this being a 505, that tune can also connect into Logitech Sync, allowing your IT organization to manage these devices and their firmware settings centrally. Attaching the Brio 505 to a laptop or monitor is pretty straightforward and easy. Keep in mind, if you do remove that purple sticker uh, cover here, this is a sticky adhesive down here at the bottom. So by removing the purple sticker, uh, you're kind of putting it in a place that you intend to be somewhat permanent, not fully permanent, but there's an adhesive. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna stick this to the back of a display. We'll just put that lip right over the edge. And then we adjust our back so that the uh, Brio 505 is pointing where it should be. And it is adhered to the uh, the curvature or flatness or whichever uh, setup you've got at the back of the display. And of course, the other end is a USB-C connection, so we'll simply plug that into the laptop and be off to the races. All right, back at our laptop, we have the Logitune software installed. We see that little window up on the screen here. And uh, behind the little uh, in-focus portion of the app, we can see we've got the regular Logitech Brio. Uh, right up top and then the Brio 505 and that is where we see we've got an update available. We can see right here Logitune update available as well. Uh, I'm going to say remind me later and on the available updates for our 505 we get all of our little details about the updated firmware in here. The added right sight feature which automatically frames you during video meetings, uh, some general bug fixes, some improvements, all this stuff looks really good. Uh, improved orientation and framing when using show mode. Thumbs up to that. So let's go ahead and say update. Once the webcam is done updating, we'll go ahead and take a look at its settings in Logitune and then on to the demo. As the camera updates through the Logitune software, we get a pulsating purple LED at the front of the device. Once the Brio 505 is finished updating, we're back here at the screen that shows the firmware version we're on. We can check for updates, but of course it lets us know we are up to the latest update now that we've uh, done that. You click on more details, it'll show you all this other information that may be helpful, especially if you need to troubleshoot or get support, you would copy the clipboard. Uh, we'll go back out to the main settings screen for the Brio 505. And here you can see it's giving you a a little window of, of a preview window, if you, if you will, of the image from the, the 505. Got a little green screen going on behind me. We can apply this grid to it if we want to. Um, we have right sight turned on here. Now this is beta, okay? So right sight allows you, let's hovering over the little question mark says, it'll automatically frame you during your meetings. So that's what right sight is supposed to do. Uh, if we turn that off, you'll see that we've got our field of view options and our zoom options in here. So I can customize where I want the image to be for the 505. But I'm going to instead say, let's turn on right sight. And then we can change the framing distance to be either closer or farther or leave it at default, as well as the framing speed. Do we want it to react faster, slower? Maybe we don't want to jump in around as much or just leave it at default. We are gonna leave everything at default. So that's right site settings, image adjustments. You can come in here, uh, do your auto focus, auto exposure, auto white balance, anti-flicker, brightness, sharpness, contrast, all that fun stuff that I never like to touch because I don't wanna mess anything up. 
Uh, we can also go into filters, and you've got original, bright, blossom, uh, forest, film, uh, glaze, a lot of different things you can do here. So I'm not going to mess with any of those. I'm going to leave it on original, and we'll go back to adjustments, and we'll go back outside of that. Uh, underneath image adjustments, we've got show mode. I'm going to leave that turned on because we're going to demo the ability to turn the camera down and see documents or other content that you've got on your desktop that you want to share with the audience. And then we've got LED light when mic is in use. We got a little LED on the front of the camera. We want that to stay lit up when, uh, when the mic is being used. So we'll leave that turned on. But those are the settings for customizing what you do with the Brio 505. Uh, but with that, let's jump over to demos. And on to demoing the video and audio of the 505. The image you are seeing now is the 505 capturing me, and the audio is the built-in microphones on the 505. So you're getting both audio and video demos right now as I'm speaking to you. We have enabled the beta for right sight in the longitude and settings. So as I move around the room, the camera will recalibrate, it will zoom into me. You can set it to be a faster or slower panning and reaction time. We've kind of kept everything as default, so out of the box, this is what you would expect if you enabled the right side and you were moving around the room, it keeps an eye on you. But uh, hopefully that gives you a good feel for right sight in its beta format on the device right now and audio and video recorded through the Brio 505. One more demo, show mode. I'm gonna reach up here, tilt the camera down toward the desktop. The image flips. All right, I'm gonna adjust it to where we're looking at it. And we can see if we had a paper or any other content on the desktop, we can see, <laughs> ignore the cable here, we can see that it will, this is facing me. So I'm not seeing this upside down, I'm seeing this with the correct orientation and you as the remote viewers would also see the correct orientation with the lettering uh, going the correct way and when I flip the camera back up the image will revert so that you are now seeing me so we get a little bit of camera flipping automatically behind the scenes that's show mode and that lets us share content on our desktop so that we can bring a little bit more context and richness to our collaboration experience and there it is, the Logitech Brio 505, the enterprise or business version, the 500 being the consumer version of the Brio 500 series. Thanks for watching. Hope you found the video useful and informative. And if you did, please hit the like button below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already. Turn on notifications to stay in the know. And I hope that we will see you back here for the next device overview video.